What's going on, men? This is, this is a shout out to you guys, okay? After reading way too many books, after, after living in New York City, and after approaching probably thousands of girls at this point, you know, been in multiple relationships and whatever, I've noticed in, at the ripe age of 32, listen, there's probably some other subjective point of views. This is just one man's perspective. Someone else could say something differently. But I see it as three areas that a guy needs to have. And he needs to cultivate this over time. And he needs to earn this. This isn't just given to you. This is honor is something that you earn, okay? I'm not gonna say honor, but honor was the biggest virtue in the Roman and pretty much Chinese days, way back in the day when there were dynasties. Honor was everything. It, why? Because there was a lineage. There was a family name to what you did. There were stories talked about you when you were dead, if you died in battle. The honor of doing something that was above and beyond. It wasn't just talked about and then you earned honor. All these three things you have to earn. Number one, this is what women want. This is a man's perspective, okay? So there could be some disagreements. I don't care, okay? This is what I see it. Not how you want it to be, but how I've seen it, how it is. Number one is comfort. Women want comfort. They want to feel comfortable, not only talk. Comfort is massive, okay? This, this isn't just one little branch area, okay? This isn't just one thing. This is, a, this is just a giving attitude, a selfless attitude where you need to not, she needs to feel comfortable around you, yes. Comfort is in the fact of, in case shit goes down, okay? Which is actually the second thing, okay? In, in case shit goes down, do we have the money? Do we have the resources? Do we have something that we can actually go to in case we need help or assistance? Okay, comfort in the fact that eh, I got it. Everything is handled. Whether you're like a duck that is going along the water, she thinks you're the duck that's going along the water, but really you're like this, your feet are going absolutely insane under the water. Whether you're that, okay? Like, I'll make the other analogy. You have this ship that's just gliding effortlessly, but under the water, it's like just these, these engines that are just pumping out all this thrust, okay? What I'm talking about is you may not feel that you are in control, but just have the awareness, number one, that you can handle the situation, okay? That's number one. Number two, leading. There are, this, this bothers me the most leading, leading the interaction, leading it forward, leading it into a relationship or sexually or leading in and saying, instead of saying, do you want to kiss? Is it okay to kiss? Feel the moment and then go in for the kiss. If she says no, or it's not the right time, or I don't want to do it publicly, awesome. But you were the one that take, took initiation. That's the same thing with opening the door, okay? L leading the Interaction, number two, leading when you're out, okay? She doesn't want someone that is sitting there like, oh, I don't know, what do you wanna do? You wanna do this? Is that okay? Should we? She wants you to take the lead. And I'm not saying 100% of the time. I'm saying when it comes down to it, she wants you to have the plans. She wants you to have, this is the place, this is what we're gonna do afterwards, this is the time. And then within that, she has the comfort, number one, that you're gonna pay for it, maybe the first time or the second time, okay? Whether she offers, obviously I'm gonna do a video about women and things like that. But she wants to feel the comfort underneath that underlying leadership. Okay, I feel comfortable because he has the resources, not only to lead, but he has the resources in case shit goes down. She's thinking long into the future. She's not thinking this one day, okay? She's thinking, does, does this guy, number one, make me feel comfortable, okay? With comfort, also, and I know I'm joining both of them, and then number three I'll get to in a second. Number um, one, which was comfort, does she feel comfortable that you can actually pay for it? Where are we going? Do you open the door? Leading in general, okay? When you're walking down the street, you're on the outside of the actual street. When, you're, when, when you walk into a restaurant, you open the door, and then they say, oh, how can I help you? Yes, party of two, Charles Botenston. I can't even stress leadership enough. There are way too many just scraggly, like, 
guys that are just immorphly just going through life. They're just like little, just, oh, it just really bothers me. Number three is protection, okay? Protection in the fact that does she, say, she, does she actually physically feel safe around you? That's why people say looks matter, okay? Looks matter in the fact that it's the same thing if a girl was a billionaire and she was not attractive. Would you, her, but you didn't know she was a billionaire, okay? She's walking down the street and, and she's walking towards you and you say, eh, she's not really my type, but she's got a billion dollars. You don't know that, but you're looking at her the way that ancestrally we did back in the day. We looked at it, we said, what is the physical health of this woman because she is gonna bear my offspring. That's what it, where it comes from. The opposite is true. If you see a guy and he's attractive, but he's walking down the street like this, he's not gonna get noticed. Women are gonna be like, oh he, yeah, he's cute, but he's walking down, he's got his head down, he looks a little scared. Why? Yeah, he's attractive, he may have the resources, he may have the money, but physically, she needs to feel protected. Okay, comfort is totally different. Comfort is, okay, we have everything that we need in case, okay? The resources, providing, okay? Number two, leading. Number three is the actual physical protection. Chest out, okay? Do you go to the gym? Are you a leader among men, number two? Which is actually number three as well, because people look up to you, okay? Which is also number one, because that's the resources to get or to do just in case. Okay, number three is more of a, do you do, do you do the best you can with what you have? Whether you're six, six or five, six, whether you're 300 pounds or 30, 130 pounds, whatever the case is, do you get to that ideal 170 to 220, depending on your height? And if you're a 170, obviously you're on the shorter, you know, kind of scale or you're, you're, you know, more of not, CrossFit or whatever, but the physical protection, okay? The physical protection is number one, okay? Number two, in other words, this is what she notices first, okay? Number one is the physical protection. How does he carry himself? Is he confident? How does he shake his hand? How does he do things? How does he move, okay? That is confidence that comes from the physical, okay? You can fake that, which goes to number two. Are you a leader? Okay, when you're a leader, how do you lead? Do people actually wanna follow you? And then, then number one, I went backwards. Then she'll find out, okay, what are the resources? How does he make me feel? Am I comfortable around him? Does he do the things that the ideal man that I wanna be with does? Okay, I know these are all just uh, theoretical, there's no practical, but that's the thing is that there's no this. There's no like, there's no tangible things. There's nothing you can just grab. Okay, there's nothing like, oh, okay, number three is obviously go to the gym and be in shape. Number two comes from actually leading, okay, at your company, on your sports team, and number one is actually growing yourself, growing yourself mentally, you have to grow yourself in your job, making more money, do you see prospect with this person? So those are the three areas that I've noticed that women like. There's obviously little sprouts of everything, but the top down macro level, that's where I recommend it. Leave your comments below, that's one man's opinion. Obviously someone else will, will disagree, that's completely fine. And there's other things that you can add to the list. Leave your comments below on what you think. And number two is subscribe and share the video. Look forward to speaking on the conversation going on below.